He is the creator of the, May, uh, the, of the Mayan Conversion Codex. Ian Lungold is a lead researcher of the Maya and their calendar systems. He is also a contributing author, artist, and speaker. Tonight, of course, we will be discussing what is in store for in just two months ahead with the stunning interview that we did just some weeks ago when Ian laid his bombshell on all of us of a date of when this all could occur related to the U.S. economic collapse. Ian, are you there? Yes, I am. <clears throat> Welcome to the show, my friend. And let me tell you, you uh, you have quite a following. <laughs> uh, thank you all. Thank you, everybody, who's tuned in. Uh, I don't know where to start, Ian. As always, uh, anything you want to pick up in the monologue, or do you want to go right into uh, some of this, some of the government disclosures we've heard on the news uh, as of yesterday and today? Well, <clears throat> basically, I want to let people know that this is this show is not for entertainment. This might be a little tough to listen to. Um, <clears throat> it, it's not going to be. We're not going to be pulling punches. We might be delivering some. And what I want all of you out there to know is that knowledge is your power. Your own knowledge. Just listening to someone like me and believing in what I have to say just isn't going to cut it. Taking somebody else's word for what's going on is frankly a weakness and maybe lazy, especially when the data is there for you to study. So I'm encouraging everybody, basically snap, snap out of it. You're not in class taking a test. This has to do with your future and the future of everyone you care for. The information is out there. We're making it available at our website as available and free as it can be. And please, study. Study what we're going to be talking about. Don't just take somebody's word for it. Does that make sense? Uh, boy, does it ever. And you've got me sitting straight up uh, once again, as you so often do. Uh, you speak your truth, and you speak it clearly, and, and I am so grateful for it. Uh, uh, what has come to you uh, since we last spoke? What... Uh, what would you like to share with us tonight? <clears throat> well, later on, I'm going to, we're going to be talking about The Passion of Christ. I went to see that movie uh, at the very first showing. and uh, But that will come later in the show. Uh, what I want to talk about first is you. That is, you sitting there listening to this broadcast. You are the person who's going to have to handle whatever it is that occurs in our future. And I want to address each and every one of you as an individual. This is very important. Basically, each of us is made up of three parts. There's your consciousness or spirit, your mind, and your body. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the body. Because it's the easiest to prove that it exists. And I, I take it that this is what you want to hold on to during these coming changes, right? Uh, our, our, our body or our soul or our consciousness, our, does, uh, can one go without the other, uh, Ian? Do, are you be, are, do you mean this in a literal sense? Yeah, what I'm talking about here is there's three parts. There's the consciousness, which goes on indefinitely, with or without a body. Yes. There's the mind, which is sort of an interface between spirit and physical. Yes. And then there is your physical body that you're sitting there in. Yes. And it's what is grounding your spirit in the physical. It's my perception that what we're all doing here is we've taken up a challenge. A challenge against physical circumstances, a challenge uh, uh, to tame the universe. Uh, uh, we, each one of us intends certain things in our lives. 
We intend to get a job. We intend to graduate. We intend to have a girlfriend. We intend these different things. These are all challenges that we're constantly posing against whatever may come. And we have big challenges in our future. Uh, Ian, let me ask you about intention. That's often brought up in spiritual circles that intention is not enough that intention is only worthy if it's followed by action and discipline. Uh, would you agree? Well, <clears throat> intention only works with persistence. Persistence is all that really wins. Yes. If you intend something one day and don't keep on intending it the next, then you're on to something new. Yes. And, and so if intending something is not enough. Intending with persistence that is, your applied will against physical is what brings about results. Yes. In every case. Now, there are going to be some very specific challenges uh, to your body in the near future. Um, oh. Most of us have been hearing rumors and more rumors about super plagues. Yes, indeed. And maybe some of you have been on the Internet and have received, well, at, at least rumors, but now there are reports from scientific magazines that are reporting what the various laboratories around the world are working on. Yes. And they're tinkering with the, with the genes of various viruses to produce super flus and super plagues. Now, it only makes sense to me that if there is any way to bolster your body's immune system against any possible uh, influenzas introduced, that it would be prudent to do so. Yes. And at our webpage, which is www.magics.com, uh, let, let Mayan Magic. Yeah, let me spell it for him. For, uh, okay. I, in. It it's www.mayan, M-A-Y-A-N, Magix, spelled M-A-J-I-X. So it's M-A-Y-A-N, M-A-J-I-X dot com. Right. And there are links there, and if you click the health link, you will be apprised or you'll be accessed to the most recent biochemical research on how your body's immune system actually works. It really works by using three different proteins that the body in, in each cell in your body converts to a compound called glutathione. Glutathione is the active ingredient of your immune system and it does everything. Not just fighting disease, but it's actually what helps what builds your muscles and bones and tissues if they've been damaged or depleted in any way. Now, all of us have been growing up in a polluted atmosphere with more and more pollutants added and stress added that have been constantly attacking your immune system. Most of you don't know what a healthy immune system is. That's You've been good just point. Yes. Getting, getting along and surviving at this current level, but from... How many people out there have heard a rumor about someone or something for maybe months, maybe a couple of years? You keep hearing the same rumor. What happens? Man, that turns out to be pretty true about that person or about that circumstance. Uh, in the sense uh, of a rumor of someone uh, being challenged or even dying from uh, some type of exotic disease, is that what you mean? Well, I mean personal rumors, like somebody's stealing from the company, and it turns out that the person really was. Oh, That's uh, rumor. I see. So the, the idea is that at times, uh, rumors may be consider. you may want to consider giving some rumors some credibility. Especially when you hear them over and over again from many sources, not just from one source. And what I'm talking about here are the rumors of a super plague that's going to be released in order to control populations. Is it, has it already been released 
And, and in other words, uh, let me ask you this, Ian. Do you believe that uh, age...